My name is Dr. Onyango Ndonga. I'm the chairman for KMPDU Nyanza. Ladies and gentlemen of the fourth estate, today Nyanza branch doctors congregate and protest the contemptuous way in which our national government is treating the professions, the profession of, uh, of medicine. Uh, we have seen that we began this, uh, we began this strike because we had 21% of our workforce not being uh, posted into their sessions. And that means that work has not been going on the way it's supposed to be. It meant that patients are not being attended the way they are supposed to be. And you've just seen recently um, statistics coming out showing that we do not have enough doctors in our facilities to take care of our patients. And today, this strike was not an emergency. This strike is a crisis that has been born by a government that has refused to um, appreciate that in, uh, when we have problems, we can sit down, negotiate, and come in an ag to an agreement and implement an agreement that we've had. In 2017, we had a strike that lasted a 100 days. Uh, it culminated into a CBA that was signed and was supposed to be implemented over a period of time. Seven years later, the CBA has not been implemented. Labor relations, in our, labor relations in our constitution is very clear. There is a way in which you engage workers who are having industrial disputes. So all these threats are coming from people who do not know how to handle their human resource. And that is why we are having a government that we call kakistocratic. People who are not fit to lead are the ones in our offices. They do not know how to handle labor disputes. We can negotiate, we can have strikes, we can protest. All these are legal ways of engaging your employer. And therefore, those threats are illegal. And if any government is going to take any particular action that is illegal, the force that they are going to meet is equal in measure. We yes. might also have to involve ourselves in an illegality because it looks like now Kenya people do not respect any laws. Yes. Kwa majina naitwa Dr. Sande Charo. Mimi ni katibu uh, msimamizi wa muungano wa madaktari tawi la Magharibi. Uh, leo ningependa kusema jambo mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza ni ushauri kwa gavana uh, wa Kirinyaga uh, Mweshimiwa Anwa Iguru 
Yeye niliona aliweza kutibua mkutano ambao ulikuwa ni wa mazungumzo kati ya muungano wa madaktari na muungano na serikali. Na kwa ukweli ni kwamba yeye hana uh, uwezo wa kuwa mwenyekiti wa mkutano kama ule kwa sababu tumeona kwamba katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga yeye ni miongoni mwa magavana ambao wanakandamiza wa hudumu wa afya. Haheshimu sheria za nchi, haheshimu hukumu zinazotolewa na mahakama. Kuna hukumu iliyotolewa na mahakama ya leba ambayo ameidharau haheshimu wosia ambao alipewa na Public Service Commission. Yeye mwenyewe amejichukulia mamlaka mikononi mwake. Yeye mwenyewe amekuwa mwenyekiti wa Public Service Commission, amekuwa judge wa Labor Court, amekuwa uh, gavana wa Kirinyaga na kwa hivyo anaendeleza uh, utumwa katika kaunti hii ya Kirinyaga. Na kama serikali iko tayari kwa mazungumzo ambayo yatazaa matunda, wanafaa kuhakikisha kwamba magavana ambao wako na rekodi mbaya kama hawa hawaingii katika vyumba vya majadiliano waweze kuachwa nje kwa sababu kama wewe ambaye uko na shida na familia yako una mzozo na bibi yako uweze enda kutafuta ushauri kwa mtu ambaye ameshindwa kuikimu ndoa yake waiguru ni mmoja wao ya hii shida yeye ameshindwa kuikimu ndoa yake na wafanyakazi kwa hivyo hana uwezo wa kuja kutu kutushauri ama kutoa suluhisho kwa shida za madaktari njia nyingine ni kwamba nilisikia waziri wa afya na kumita akisema uh, tuweze ku, kuiangalia mkataba huu wa CBA 2017 mimi nakubaliana na yeye lakini tuiangalie kwa, kwa sababu ili itake ya inflation ambayo gharama ya maisha imeenda juu kwa hivyo waweze kudumisha mishahara ile kwa sababu gharama ya maisha imeenda juu hali ya uchumi ni mbaya lakini si kuiangalia kwa madhumuni ama nia ya kukata mishahara kwa hivyo sisi kama wanachama wa KMPDU haturudi nyuma tunatetea haki yetu na haki hii haikuja rahisi watu walifungwa ili CBA ikapatikana kwa hivyo tuko katika hali ya mgomo mpaka serikali itakapoacha mgomo wao asanteni sana shukrani